Another after work check. Oh. Another very nice ermine. Another very clean catch. That's a really pretty one. He's good and big. And uh, well, he's pretty froze. We'll see if we can get him out of here. That's a very pretty pelt. We'll be careful. So walking down my trap line, I had the uh, pleasure of having these blinking eyes stare back at me. I figured I'd uh, film a little bit. And upon further review, this is a Sawwet Owl. Um, they're only about the size of a Nerf ball. About 8 inches tall total. Pretty cool creature. Here's Ermin number 22. This is just another cubby set. Baited with, uh, I believe, canned tuna. And as you can see the tracks there, he spent a little bit of time before he committed to going in. There's a one and a half in there, and your standard chest pinch that you've seen on a lot of these catches. All right, back at the river. Season of the weasel continues. Let's look through these bushes. As you can see down there, I got a mink box with a uh, 120 pan trap that is not set off. And in there is a bait thief. I don't know if you can see his butt, but uh, he made it right through that trap without setting the pan off. And uh, I put my handy dandy uh, bait protector in here as well. Yo! That looks like. Worked out just fine. Make sure he's not alive. Look at that. That is a least weasel. Dirty little least weasel. But he'll wash out alright. Cool. Reset. Reload. Yeah, look what we caught in our mink set. Another ermine. Uh, we've got a bunch at this point. This has got a little bit of snow on it, so it was cold this morning when it started snowing, which means it's uh, last night's catch. Hopefully we can get it out of that trap. Um, as you can see, this set's pretty simple. I got two pieces of wood made into a... I don't know, Hale is what I want to call it, like a lean-to, I guess. It's got mesh in the back. I set the trap right where it was set and uh, pack it full of fish. I think I used herring day before yesterday, so there we go. It's a good size ermine. I'll get them out of the, out of the trap and show them to you guys, and I'll uh, reset. Well, there we have it. It's another ermine. It's a very good size one. Um, he wasn't froze enough to be stuck in the trap. That's another reason why wax and traps is pretty cool sometimes. If they're... Sometimes you can get away with shaking them out gently. Um, as is the case. So you can see this isn't like the typical catch. But it did the job. Usually they put their front feet in the pan. And they get the... Uh, Trap right here, which crushes the rib, rib cage. This guy, as you can see, got his hind foot on there. But also got the springs up around the uh, midsection. Yeah, that's no big deal. It's just rust from the trap. It's a very nice ermine. Fleas on him, though. Look at that. gross all right well we'll very carefully carry him back here's the uh remake as you can see this is not a complex set I haven't caught any making it this year but last year i caught several right here so who knows what's going on man 
Mink season's been super duper slow so far. It's been abnormally warm, so maybe maybe that's why we're slamming ermines instead of uh, minks. Fingers crossed. Either way, can't be upset when there's fur on the line.